Now, moving into mobile and responsive design, um, we've talked about numerous ways we can break normal flow. Um, again, that's top to bottom, left to right. We're going to introduce one today that's really a little bit more complex, but really handy. Um, I kind of feel, as far as web design goes, when this came out, it was almost like we were cheating um, because it made laying items out so much easier. And moving forward, I really want you guys um, utilizing this a lot more for your different items. So today we're going to introduce something called Flexbox. And Flexbox is where you can take multiple items and change their size depending on the width of the browser or the viewport that you have um, given it. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate that, I'm going to take out this unordered list with this div here. And I'm going to put out um, a div right here um, that's going to have an ID um, gallery applied to it so we can reference it. And then rather than listing out each individual monkey just in an unordered list, I went through and made a div tag for each one that had an image of the monkey and then a break and then the name of the monkey. So um, that's going to look something like this. And you can see we've got a big list of all these monkeys and divs that are going down. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go over here and let's reference out that gallery in an ID. And I'm going to first, um, let's, let's just add a border around that so we can kind of see what that looks like where our gallery really sits. So we can say this one pixel solid and then I'll make it um, a dark gray. And we can see that here. We can see that container kind of take place. And then I'm also going to go through and I'm going to say every um, inside of this, we have all of our um, divs. So I'm going to say all of our gallery divs are also going to be given a border. <clears throat> so we can see those as well. Okay, now that is a div within a div, so that line just got double thick. Um, we can also go through and let's put out a background color so we can kind of see, um, oops, see where everything is. Okay, you can kind of tell that's just the, for the gallery. We didn't do that for each individual um, cell, but they'll have borders in there. <clears throat> accordingly. So we have this um, list of divs that's going down and names of each monkey and <clears throat> the images are filling out 100% of their size. They're a 400 by 400 and then it just does a break and then puts the name underneath. So no floats, nothing special like that. Just div tags with images in them. So nothing too crazy. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do right here to our gallery, we're now going to change the display type. Now, if you remember, we've used block. We use inline and we use inline block. We're going to introduce a new one a day, and it's called flex for flexbox. Okay, so let's take a look at that. And now you can see what it's done is it's taken all of our images and it's made them into a horizontal um, kind of... Uh, list or you know a horizontal row of these images and you can see there <clears throat> is the border around each one and and down it goes um, you know I'm actually gonna take off the container border so we don't get the double border but the background color should still um, show through and that will be fine for what we're doing just to kind of minimize one more border okay so we've got all these images going across the screen um, so that's the first thing. The next thing we're going to show you how to do is, is to wrap them. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change, or I'm going to add an attribute called flex dash um, wrap, and I'm going to wrap it. Now by default, these are on a no wrap, but when I wrap them, it just kind of says, all right, we got one here, one here. Let me try to put one here. If it doesn't work, I'm going to squish it down to the next level. <clears throat> let's play with that a little bit more but let's say on each individual div um, let's 
make let's actually make the images a little bit smaller so I'm going to go through here and say all right our gallery div images are going to be given a width of 200 pixels and I'm just going to make sure their height is automatically determined and we do that just so it keeps its proportions correct so now you can see a little bit better um, you know how it's wrapped all these in there accordingly now I'm going to take my container now and we are also going to give it a height of 800 pixels because I want to demonstrate some other things as we move along so you can see here the divs are kind of filling out the space the best that they can and and kind of filling that out so the next thing we can do to this which is kind of cool is we can change the direction of these images if we want to and so we're going to come up here and add a flex direction and we're going to change this from column so right now by default it gets a row but we can change this to a column or a row reverse which kind of flips it backwards and a column reverse which does the same in the form of a column but you can see here now we can go to a column so it, it's going down like so and then wrapping accordingly and if we want to turn off that wrap now and just go back to a no wrap we can do so and it just kind of goes down the list now some of you guys might think looks like it's breaking out of here um, and it's because our height is only 800 pixels tall if you remember I made that so I'd have to turn that off and go back to auto Oops. <clears throat> or set it to a specific you can see how that was breaking out now some applications for this um, where this would be really handy um, number one um, what if you had a menu and you wanted to make your menu responsive and flip into a you know vertical menu when you're in a really small tight mobile environment um, if you had a photo gallery kind of like what we're doing here and you wanted the image just to kind of go across the screen um, you know or wrap down or resize different things we could all do that with the with the direction and the wrap um, we're gonna get more into this um, I just want to introduce those two things the flex wrap so you can see it wrapping around or the flex direction a little bit more but uh, we'll go into some more advanced in another video